Hi everyone, this is Karen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create weeding lines with Shortcuts A Lot Pro version 4. First thing I'm going to do is create some text. I'm just going to type the word keyboard. I'm going to add some color to that just to make it easier to see. There's no fill color defined right now, that's why. So I've added a color, but I'm going to change it from white to black. And now you can see that better. So I'm going to drag this out, make it bigger. And I'm going to add some random shapes. Picking this one very specifically for a good reason. And let's try something else. Uh, let's do this shape. Okay, so they're random, but for a reason. Uh, this looks a little bit weird. Let's just shrink that up a bit. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to choose all of my shapes. Click the Effects menu and then choose Weeding. So here's your weeding screen, but the first thing you want to do is drag out your screen so that you'll have a much larger area to work with and it'll be much easier to see. Right now your border offset is set at 0 0.20 and you see there's this much of a gap. I usually change that to point one zero because point one zero because that is plenty enough room for me and now I'm going to show you what all of these buttons do this first one first of all these four buttons will give you a horizontal line where you see the red line is how the line will be created on your design so this one this first one I'm going to click and it creates a line everywhere except within your shape, like in your text, it won't create a cutting line right in the middle of these areas, including the E here and including this area in the K. When I click it over here, you'll see that it creates a line in the background, but it misses the opening in the mouth. So I'm going to reset that and show you the next one, which is this. When you click this, it creates a line only in your design. Let's do it on the text and see what's going to happen here. You'll see at the top of the K, the B and the D because I had clicked up here. Let's say if I click over here, at that point it will create a line across my text. So I'm going to clear that. This one let's click in the text we will do the same as the first one except that it goes all the way across missing the actual shape so where it encounters a line for your shape it will not create a line here but it does create a line within this middle of your letter O and the B and the A and all the rest of them same thing over here Basically, what this is doing is creating a line in all your negative space and not creating a line on your design, on your image. This image here, the, the lips, and the actual letters of the word keyboard. I'm going to reset this and choose this one now. This one will only create a line where you click. So, I click between these two parts of the K, that's where it creates my letter. I click here and it creates, it didn't create a letter, it created a line. And it creates a line in this space of the E. Here on the Y, here in the mouth. If I click here, it's only going to create a line on this side of my image. And if I click here, it will create that. And if I click here, it will create that. Here, here, Okay. So then I'll reset this and these four will create the same. They're the equivalent to the ones over here, but creating vertical lines. So here's the vertical option of this one where it's missing the middle part of your design. It missed the inside of the mouth and the inside of this letter. 
it does all of the background except the inside of the image. I'll reset this and then this one does inside your image only. Reset that. This one does all of the background including the inside spaces of your image such as inside the mouth and inside the letter here. And the last one only creates a line where you click. And that's it. So I'm going to reset these and I'm going to create just some lines the way that I would create them if I were doing this design. You want to be careful, for example, if you're doing in text, you don't want a whole lot of little tiny pieces to weed. That looks pretty good and then maybe I'll do a couple of horizontal lines. Let's say here, here, and here. So that now when I'm picking up, this whole area here is going to be one piece. The insides of my letters are going to be separate. This is going to work quite well. So once I'm done, I'll click OK. And if I click Preview, it's going to show me all of my cutting lines, including the weeding lines. Another option with the professional version is that you can cut by color. So if I go to my cutter and I choose Cut by Color, I can now decide to cut only my weeding lines, which are gray, my white shapes, which is that asterisk shape, red, which is the lips, and black, which is my text. So let's say I choose only the lip. What I need to do is I click to get rid of the blade for the ones I don't want so that I keep only the blade for what I want. And then when I'm done that, uh, let's see, I'm just going to do the black. I'm just going to do my text and it will only cut my text. This may be a, a little confusing to you depending on what type of cutter you have. I have a GCC Puma and it lets me start cutting at my origin rather than cutting WYSIWYG. So don't let that confuse you if that's not the type of cutter you have. Okay, so that explains cutting by color. I'm going to cancel that out. And that's all there is to the weeding lines. Very simple to use and very powerful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you. Please help me out and subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to really increase the number of subscribers on my YouTube channel so that I can keep bringing you helpful videos on a full-time basis. Thank you very much.